right guys um what i think i'm going to do today is make a cart for all my sheet goods like plywood um sheet metal the sheet plastics i might have um just something i can set uh stuff vertically you know so the eight foot side or whatever the longest side is standing up get it up off the floor um kind of show you like uh this stuff over here big pieces of plywood probably throw my poker tables in there too just to get them up off the floor so let's get started uh first thing i'm going to do is flip the pallet over here that i'm working with i got this nice oak pallet i'm going to use that as a base just because why not um you know it's better than building something from scratch and then i'm going to put some casters on so that when this is all done we can wheel it around the shop easily side pieces are going to go on the outsides of the pallet um, and the pallet is 52 inches long and I want the sides as long as the pallet so I got to get a little bit creative here just because I want both ends to fit on a 48 or a 96 inch long piece of uh, plywood here so if I did 52 and 52 it would be it wouldn't be long enough so um, I'm putting one this way and turning the other one and coming from the other side and that'll give me enough room
All right, that one could have been a little bit prettier. Um, I mean, for the most part, obviously on this side it's nice and straight, but it walked on me that way um, a little bit. And I, I probably should have had a fence set up here and here that the router just um, rode right between. But for what it's what it is, it's gonna be fine. I wanted to use the new table saw, which would have been awesome. Would have made a perfect dado, but I don't have a dado stack for it yet. All right, so this is where my dados are gonna go. And I'm gonna um, put dividers in. So I have three separate sections here. I could put different styles of plywood in or whatever, different style sheet hoods. But to do that with my router, I need to set my fence three inches off from this line. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna mark 11 inches from this side and 11 inches from this side. We'll draw those lines. And that's where my fence will go for my router to ride along. trying to figure out I want to put dados here and here as well so that when I put these dividers in they're positively um, oriented on the bottom and in the back there they can't move side to side or anywhere All right, so for this one, I set my fence down about a quarter inch instead of three eighths of an inch, just because I don't want to go down too far into those oak boards and get into the structural integrity. I just want to make a dado to positively locate um, these divider panels.
be honest, I didn't expect it to come out quite that close. Because you're not measuring off the same edges for each piece you're cutting, but I think it worked out pretty darn good. So for these, our height is basically going to be this dimension, 31 and a half plus a quarter inch for the dado. Um, Eighteen and five eighths plus three eighths is nineteen. We're gonna screw this too, so this really isn't critical, but it'll take a beating over the years.
is it guys it turned out awesome for no plans or nothing like that just kind of did it in my head and had an idea and it came out nice um still can use it as a pail you can stick forks in from either side um if i ever moved or something or wanted to load it on a truck for whatever reason um there is that option which is nice uh this side will be for smaller sheet goods this will be for larger sheet goods and we'll stand it up it'll you know if you had a full sheet it would stick out maybe a foot out the front and it would obviously be eight foot tall and then you can wheel it all around so it takes up a lot less space than laying it down this way or um obviously the mess i'm trying to get rid of is this rack over here so uh i guess let's clean it up and um get some of this stuff put away and uh see what this thing looks like all loaded up Well, there you go. Pretty nice little project, guys. Got all my cut sheets of plywood over here. I'm leaving this section for all the full sheets when I get them. Um, if I start building different kinds of cabinets or vanities or whatever in the shop, all full sheets can go in there. I know right where they're at. Um, I did my poker tables and just uh, the pop-up tables for like parties and stuff. I threw those in there because it's just a good spot for them. I got all sorts of different stuff over here from aluminum sheets to this is all aluminum aluminum lexan sheet steel this is like 14 gauge heavy duty sheet steel um all sorts of sheet pvc like this stuff big old sheets i can use for stuff and then i got a bunch of teflon um there's a whole big board of teflon you can use for skids or slides for the bottom of different projects or um it works really good for spacers too you know like half inch thick spacer or whatever hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and leave a comment um let me know what types of stuff you like to see or you know what you would have done differently or if you like the project so gets a bunch of stuff up off the floor and uh you know up off of this post that's been buried with just sheet stuff that was sliding and and the other thing is you want to get it up off the concrete floor it's not good for any any type of wood really to sit on concrete it wicks up moisture after a while so cleaned this area out had some sheet stuff up here um now this is all my you know pipe and welding types of angle all wood on this side some wood on this side and trim pieces here but anyway getting organized next project is probably a miter saw station we'll see you on the next one